a uh, enclosed trailer for the construction crew, and I've also ordered uh, some uh, multiple small machines, lawnmowers, uh, trimmers, stuff like that. Uh, what it goes up and down, I mean, pretty much monthly. I mean, it's the internet, so it could change drastically. Uh, we've experienced tremendous growth, so we were very happy about that. Uh, we have uh, great employees that uh, we keep uh, very close uh, to our hearts and a very great team, uh, very knit and uh, efficient. Um, there were, I'd say, a lot more ups than downs. I mean, you always have to look at the positive side. And actually, one of the best things I've heard is uh, life is good. And my business partner tends to say that to me pretty much every day, which uh, definitely uh, reinforces everything that we do. Uh, right now, we have uh, six full-time employees. We are going to be hiring two more. And at any given time, we have about 12 to 15 uh, contractors, part-time employees, and other miscellaneous workers. Last year, I think I spent a, right around 60000 uh, See, that's just in, in seeding the crop. And uh, it was a good year, actually. I, I think I had about a 20 to 25% profit margin. So that, that's decent. So far, I've been pretty much reinvesting everything I take out of the business uh, back in. Um, I use some of it because I'm still a student. Uh, I'm going to school. But uh, definitely, I, I reinvest as much as I can. Most of the profits get reinvested, reinvested back into the business uh, to grow uh, either better boats or better tools. Um, the profits uh, help me and my brother pay for our education. Uh, I just finished up at uh, Queen's Commerce and uh, he ha still has two years left at uh, Conestoga and Kitchener. He's doing an env uh, environmental science degree. It's been great. I mean, we went uh, all the way from, uh, you know, when I wrote it in high school, from, uh, you know, just the one school using it to uh, now there's uh, about 75 schools using it. And uh, based on commitments that we have uh, from schools uh, to use it next fall, we're anticipating more than 150 schools uh, in this coming fall will be using it. Ryan Flood. And now, marketing. That's the next question for our student entrepreneur finalists. Here's their answers. One of the things we do is this calendar, it's sort of a fireman calendar. Um, we, we get the guys all oiled up and get the tools out and we do also a, a promotional shoot for Echo Tools which is uh, a partner of ours. Uh, we arranged a sponsorship agreement with them so that uh, we receive tools at cost in exchange for uh, some advertising that we do for them. Uh, we have a really good website that is uh, easy to use. The customers uh, check it out during the week when they're at home and uh, book the work so that it's done when they get up on the weekend. And uh, the other thing that we utilize is uh, some radio commercials. Uh, one of our customers is actually a radio producer and in exchange for some services, uh, agreed to produce uh, three commercials for us that we air throughout the summer. Our strategy for EQ Media is one, hire the best people. We do the best work we can, we have fun, and we always challenge conventional thinking. And again, just offering superior service in any way possible that we can because the only thing that separates us apart from choosing any other of the 6,500 marketing or design firms is our work and our people. Well, a lot of my clients have come from, uh, you know, directly contacting them or, uh, you know, uh, attendance at uh, trade shows and conferences where, you know, there'll be a big uh, attendance from administrators. Um, yeah, just advertising, you know, when uh, administrators' magazines, uh, you know, those kinds of things. Still, uh, you know, fairly similar to, uh, to other businesses. Our colleague, producer Francine Blaze, had a very nice intuitive question for Tom Henderson. Does he ever get scared? Scared? Uh, no, I get extremely stressed out, but never scared. I uh, love my job. I love what I do. I love who I work with. I have uh, three of my best friends who work for me. Uh, this summer, two of them uh, who started with, started with me in high school working for me when I started my business, they started with me, loved it. The next summer they decided to work up at their cottages and they've done uh, summer jobs ever since then. Well, over the winter they came to me and said, Tom, we loved working with you. We know how your business has grown. We know the people that work for you. They love it. Please let us work for you. And I said, hey, Jordy and Brent, you are welcome to work for me. You know what I expect. I'll pay you a, a great wage. Uh, they're making uh, 15 and 16 dollars respectively, which is a great wage for a 22 year old. And uh, they're committed to perfection. And uh, they're also kind of uh, their own bosses in a sense, because they're the, they're the uh, 
most mature on the crew, I would say, in, uh, in retrospect, because they have worked for me before and they know me personally. They know that I'm a perfectionist and uh, they know what I expect. As for being scared, uh, the only thing that scares me is if uh, one of them gets, in, gets injured.